Hey everybody, how are you? I am in my backyard. It is so, so sunny, as you can see, but I am gonna be making a few really awesome recipes for you guys, okay? Um, my name is Chris Ann, and I am with my tower garden here, and I am using, I think, about five different ingredients um, from my tower garden for these recipes that I'm making, maybe six. Okay, so let's get started because I don't want to take up a lot of time, um, but I'm so happy to be here and I'm gonna try to see if I can see you all. I mean, I'm in the backyard, there's an airplane flying over now. <laughs> Helicopter. Okay, live video. So, what I'm going to be making is a really simple cucumber and peach salad. Okay, with some feta and some shallot vinaigrette. Um, as you can hear, my tower garden was just on and um, now it just went off. It, it, it's watering itself and now it's taking a little break. So, um, okay, so let's get started. Uh, and then I'm gonna make a nice cocktail as well, okay? So what I did here, I tried to prep a little bit so I didn't have to do everything while I'm on this video live. So um, let me just show you um, cucumber. This is from my tower garden, I just picked it couple of days ago so um, that's one of the things I, I used okay I have a couple of them I'm, I didn't cut this one up I wanted to show you guys okay um, so I sliced it up as you can see here I hope you can see okay and you see that so you slice them up and what I used was the cucumbers from the tower garden and I also used a English cucumber so it's, it's I used half of it okay and I cut them up um, the English cucumber I did in half, and then these I just did the circle, okay? I did. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm just going to squeeze, I, I put a little bit of sea salt on top of the cucumbers um, after I did that. Now I'm just gonna put some lemon on them, okay? And leave it like that. Just a little bit of squeeze of lemon. Now, while these are waiting, uh, just sitting here, what I want to do is I'm going to make the vinaigrette, okay? I know you guys are on and I can't, I can't see. So I'm going to have to walk and find you guys and see who's on. So let me check. Oh, hi, Amanda. How are you? Oh, I loved your video today, Amanda. Okay. So um, Amanda made a really great lettuce wrap today, which was delicious. Okay. So let me make the dressing and we can, um, we can get that going. So what's in this bowl is some shallot and I chopped it very fine. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my little zester and my lemon, I started doing it before, and I'm just going to do the lemon peel and the zest of the lemon peel. You're pretty much the whole lemon. Um, so let me tell you while I'm doing this a little bit about myself, I live in New York. I've grown on the tower garden for, I think it's three years now, and I have to say the last, this past year, the winter, fall, winter into the spring and now the summer, I think I've appreciated my tower garden the most. Um, you know, we had that recall with the romaine lettuce last winter, and here we are growing our own romaine on the tower garden, and we didn't have to worry about anything. So, uh, it's been amazing. And I didn't bring my, my squash out to show you, because I didn't cook it yet, but I did post a picture before of me and how big the squash was. All right, so I just, I did the zest of the lemon, okay? And I'm just gonna slice it in half. And I'm also gonna put this lemon juice in here. Now, this vinaigrette has no oil in it. It's basically just the lemon juice and vinegar and the shallot. Um, but what I'm gonna do at the very end is I'm just going to pour some avocado oil over the top of the whole salad, okay? So I'm going to juice one lemon and this is like really simple to make. Um, oh my gosh, my neighbors are going to do my neighbors are going to do their mow, mowing their lawn now. Okay, you guys are gonna have to hold on for a minute. Hold on. 
Okay. They were just going to mow the lawn next door. I told them just to wait. All right. So I've got the, the vinaigrette here going, right? The lemon juice and the shallot and the lemon zest. Okay. Now I'm going to add some white wine vinegar to that. My dog here is... Okay. So I'm going to put about like a third of a cup of vinegar. I'm just going to whisk that up. And I'm just going to let it sit here and let the flavors kind of... The shallot is so strong, but it smells really good. Okay? So I'm going to leave that. Okay. Let me just check if anybody is on. Sorry about that. I can't really see. Hey, Jen. How are you? Okay. So, cucumbers are sliced. I'm gonna put a little more lemon over them, okay? Now what I did, squeeze a lemon, perfect. Maybe a little more salt. And I'm gonna do a little uh, cracked pepper, okay? All right. Hit on the lemon, okay. So now what I did here is I sliced peaches. See that? Okay, so just some sliced peaches. Um, and I just let them kind of sit and get a little mushy, which is good. So flavors are coming out. I'm going to put a little bit of salt on those too. All right. Now, I'm going to take the dressing and I'm going to pour half of the dressing on the cucumbers. All right, just a little bit. And I'm just gonna mix it up a little bit. Okay. So I'm gonna show you what's gonna be added at the end because it's gonna be what makes this like so special and what I've grown on the tower garden. I can't even tell you, like right now, I've got basil, I've got mint, I've got edible flowers. Um, Cosmo flowers, marigolds, calendula. Um, I've got, um, what else? Violas, uh, as far as edible flowers. I've got yellow squash, golden squash growing. I have um, eggplant flowers coming in, which are these beautiful, one fell off today. This beautiful purple flower is an eggplant flower. Jalapenos, um, tomatoes. Sorrel, um, cucumbers. I don't know if I said that already. I've got um, I've got echinacea. I've got so many things. There's even more on the other side. And lettuce. I've got a bunch of lettuce. And today I just got a shipment from of seedlings from a place, and they're going to. Um, I, they just shipped it, shipped it to me, and I'm going to put some more lettuce in. Okay. So now I'm going to take these peaches. I'm pouring them on top of the cucumbers. Pour them right on top. Mix it up very gently because, you know, I mean, these peaches weren't extremely ripe, ripe, but they were just like perfect. So I could cut them. They're not like too mushy. All right. I don't know if you can see how this looks, but can you see that? Okay. The rest of the dressing is going over this. I'm just pouring the whole thing on. I'm going to toss it a little more. This plate that I'm using is my grandmother's. She passed away a long time ago, and I have a lot of her pasta dishes and china, and I love to use it. And this one is so pretty. And I thought this would be nice and sunny looking for this summer dish. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is feta. Just, you know, I mean, if you wanna not put the feta, then you don't have to, um, but just put a, some chunks of feta. I mean, some of us want to be dairy free, which is fine. Every once in a while, I like to have cheese. So just put a little feta. And this is nice. Like, you really can do this at a party. It's so simple. Bring it to someone's house. All right. 
I think that's good. Okay. Now, one thing that makes this great, and, and some of this has been sitting out in the sun a little bit this afternoon, but I've got the basil from the tower garden, and you're just going to take handfuls of basil. This is basil. If you, I hope you can see. This is all basil. It's I can't get over how much basil that I have. I'm not even going to chiffonade this, and chiffonade is when you lay the basil on top of each other and then roll it up and slice it very thinly. I'm not even going to do that. I'm just going to tear the basil up and put it all over this, okay? So we're going to do basil and mint. Now, basil and the mint, I have both, I have grown both on my tower garden. So that's going to go over this. I think that's enough. And I've got some of my mint. And I, I'm growing this too. Um, I think it's on the other side. Just throw some mint. And I also am growing purple basil on the tower. And that's on the other side. But it's a little wilty now just because it's been outside in the sun because it's so sunny back here. But isn't that pretty? And it gives it like this other flavor and this other just, you know, different color on there. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Here comes the helicopter, my guys. Just want to do a little more mint, okay? I mean, literally, that's all I'm doing. It's just. All right. You guys can see this. Let me try to lift it up. Very simple. Can you see? Okay. The last thing I'm going to do for this dish is, you know, sometimes when you grow basil too long, it gets the flowers at the top and you can use them. So I'm putting some of that and I'm also going to put some flowers that I grew. Marigold, just plop a few in there. I've got the Cosmo flowers. Look how beautiful these are. I'm just putting those in here. It's so pretty, okay? That is that recipe. That's all. Simple, right? Okay? You could pair this with nice steamed fish or grilled fish or some chicken. It's perfect. All right. So the other thing I'm going to do quickly before these guys come is I'm going to make a very, very fast cocktail, okay? Let me just make sure I'm not... Hey, Danielle, how are you? Hi, Ann. Okay, I'm, all, I'm going quickly because my neighbors landscapers are coming they were already here and i had to tell them to wait a few minutes okay so let me make this cocktail really really fast okay so i went to the yankee game the other day and i had a drink there a cocktail there and they gave me a shaker <laughs> isn't that the best so i'm going to use that so i'm going to make a coconut mojito and i'm using the mint from the tower garden okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to muddle some mint and lime in here in the shaker you know just put a little bit in I sliced up some lime I'm just gonna put that in here and then we are going to muddle it where is my oh here's my muddler my muddler don't know what I would do without my muddler so you're just gonna muddle the lime and the mint and get it so I'm making this like a little of healthy coconut mojito so I'm not putting any sugar or any um, anything like that in it simple syrup I'm not doing that I just want it I feel like the rum that I'm using is a little sweet anyway so just muddle the coconut and I mean the lime and the um, the mint all right then I'm going to pour coconut water right it's a little healthy so when you're sitting outside and you're enjoying a cocktail you're getting a lot of potassium with the coconut water and uh, electrolytes so just pour a little bit in here I'm gonna put some ice and I'm gonna do some Malibu coconut rum because I'm going to put regular rum in it too, okay? Regular
regular rum. That's all. I may top it off with a little regular rum. Okay, let me get some ice. Ice in here. I'm sorry, I can't like interact with you guys right now. But I'll take a quick look. I don't know if anybody's saying anything, but I hope you're enjoying whatever I'm making. So what I made first was the um, sliced peaches, cucumbers with basil, mint, lemon, a lemon shallot vinaigrette. Oh, I know what I forgot on that. Avocado oil. Okay, so after you do all that, just drizzle a little avocado or um, olive oil over the top, okay? And let it sit there. And you can add more feta if you'd like, okay? All right, let me shake this up. See how it I think I need some more. So I'm not straining this or anything. I'm going to pour it into the cup. And I'm going to put a little more ice in the cup. So it's Thursday night. Tomorrow's Friday, right? Good time to go out and buy some of this, uh, these ingredients to make this for yourself for the weekend. But I have to say, like I was saying before, the Tower Barn has been amazing. And I've literally used so many ingredients in, these, in this. And you could add tomato to this salad. Um, anything, really. Okay, just pour this. And what I like to do is get the lime out. Put the lime and all the mint. Let me see. Hope you guys can see. I have my little paper straw. And then what I like to do is cut a little, little lime, a little sprig of mint, and I think I will pour just a little more of the rum. If you like the coconut rum, pour a little bit of that. Just pour a little on the top and let it seep in there. How's that? Very refreshing. And like I said, there's no sugar. I mean, there is sugar in the, there is sugar in the, um, the coconut rum, the Malibu rum. Oh my gosh, that's so good. <laughs> okay. All right. So there you go, guys. Coconut mojito oh and you know what too if you want if you like a little fizz pour a little seltzer on it this is lemon lime seltzer you can use plain you could do a little seltzer just to give it a little fizz and if you don't want to have alcohol you can do the same thing i just did and omit the the rum because you'll have the coconut water you'll have the nice flavors of the lime and the um the mint and it's just perfect. So um, you don't need the, the rum if you don't want it. Um, but it's but the fizz is nice too. Yeah, it is. It's very refreshing. So let me see if anybody else is on. I really I'm gonna post some pictures. You hear the Tower Gardens on right now. I hope you guys can see because the sun is so bright. But here is the salad. You could see it. I'll post a picture of it. I'll take some pictures after. Um, but that was really simple. And then we've got the coconut mojito. Let me see. I can't read because it's like definitely going to try that mojito. Oh, Amanda, you got to try it. It's, it's really, really good. So anyway, okay. So I hope you all enjoyed my quick video. And I hope you've enjoyed all of our posts today from tower to table because literally this is tower to table. Um, you can grow strawberries on your tower garden too. And if you want to grow them and pull them off and put them in this salad, that's a really good, um, another ingredient you could put in with it. And you can also do goat cheese if you don't want to do the feta, but, um, but that's all. Okay guys. So have a wonderful night and stay tuned. We have more coming up for the next several days. Um, but I hope you enjoyed today and thank you for joining me and, um, we'll see you all later or tomorrow. Hey Marie, how are you? Okay, I just made, um, if you guys can watch this, um, the replay, let me know. And if you want the recipe too, please reach out to me. I'd be happy to, to send the recipe, all right? Okay, I think these guys are coming back now to do the lawn. Oh my gosh, all right, let me see. So I wanted to show you guys Tower Garden a little bit better. I can, look, see the basil? 
It's really great. Really, really great. So, okay. All right, guys. I got to go. Take care, and uh, we'll see you soon. All right? Bye-bye.